So in this video, we will learn how to post new message to Google chat from Microsoft Excel. Now suppose guys, you are adding some kind of data in Microsoft Excel and you want that the data should be shared automatically on your Google chat space with your team members as a message. You can completely automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be addition of data, addition of new row in Microsoft Excel and the action will be sending off messages on Google chat. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here, just click on access now below Pabli Connect. After clicking on access now, we can see that we have reached to Pabli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as MX Excel to Google chat and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window. Second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data, the new data, which we are entering in Microsoft Excel in Pabbly Connect. After getting that data using Public Connect, we will send that data to Google Chat as a new message over here there. Now, what we have to do guys, we have to select Microsoft Excel as our trigger application. So in trigger window, we will search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is. And after that, in trigger event from the dropdown, we have to select new row in worksheet because we want that whenever a data in a new row is added in a Microsoft Excel sheet, that data should be captured in public connect. After selecting a trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with public connect. Now to make this connection, just click on connect with Microsoft Excel button over here. And guys, because I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account in my browser, Pabbly Connect has detected the same account. And now it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on yes over here. And after that, we will see our Microsoft Excel account will get connected with Pabbly Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the workbook. And in the dropdown below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in our Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. So from here, we have to select from which workbook we want to get the data. So the name of my workbook, which we are going to use in this video is named as new lead data. So I am generating some new leads and I am adding the details or the data of all the new leads from different sources in this Microsoft Excel worksheet. And I want that whenever a data of a new lead is added over here, that that details of that new lead should be sent to my Google chat, my Google Hangout space to share with my team members. So new lead data, we have to select this lead from the dropdown. So we'll search for new lead data, new lead data. We have selected this workbook. And after that in worksheet section, you can see there is only one sheet as sheet one. Because in this workbook, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So we will select the worksheet as well. Now, after this, when we will click on the save and send test request button, the details of the first lead, the first row details of the first row after headings will be captured in Pabbly Connect. Let's click on save and send test request. And yes, we can see that we have received the details of the first lead, which was added in our Microsoft Excel sheet in Pabbly Connect. So we have the same first name uh, and same last name, dummy name, the same name of the lead which we have added. We have the same email address, same phone number, as well as the same company name. Now guys, we can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully com connected Microsoft Excel with Pabbly Connect and received the data which we were adding in Microsoft Excel in a new row and Pabbly Connect as well. Now what we have to do, we have to send this data to Google chat. 
so that we can send a message or we can send a message on our Google Chat space with our team members with this data. Now to do so, we will scroll down in our public connect workflow and come to this action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Google Chat. Google Chat. So Google Chat Hangout. Google Hangout Chat. Okay, this is this is what it is. Google Hangout Chat. And in the action event, we have to select create a message. Then just click on connect. And after cl clicking on connect, here it is asking us chat webhook URL to make the connection. Now what we have to do guys, we have to basically go to our Google chat space and from there we have to get the URL, the webhook URL of that particular space in Google chat. And we have to add that URL over here. In this way, Pavli Connect will know that in which space we have want to send the data. Now how you're going to get this chat webhook URL? Now to do so, to get this URL, just go to the space which you have created in Google chat. So this is my space. And after reaching the space named as Pavli, which I have created, just click on this top button over here in the space name. And from the drop down, we have to select option named as manage webhooks. Just click on manage webhooks. Then it is asking us a new name for this incoming webhook. So for example, I would like to name this incoming webhook as MS Excel. So this is the name of the webhook. Just click on save. And now we can see that we have received a webhook URL. Just copy this webhook URL from here. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here in this chat webhook URL section. And that's it. After that, we have successfully connected the connection between my Google chat space and Pavli Connect is done. Now we told Pavli Connect that we want to send message at this space. After that, just close this over here. And in Pavli Connect, after the chat webhook URL, it is asking us for the message. That what is the message which we want to send to our team members in our Google chat space. Now I want my message to be as Hello team. Okay, so in this way, I want to send a message on my Google chat space with this data. So basically, if you want, you can use any message, you can draft any message of your choice to send. So I want my message to be Hello team, we have received a new lead. And then I want to enter the details of the new lead, which we have added in Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft from Microsoft Excel, we have received these lead details in public connect over here. So from this response, from this data, which we have received from Microsoft Excel, we want to map this data over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Like in front of name, I wanted to add the name of the person. So we will just click here and in the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Microsoft Excel can be seen over here. Just select the response of first name and it is mapped over here as you can see. And to map the full name after mapping first name, just add a space and from the drop down, once again, map the last name over here. So in this way, whatever first name and last name we will be entering in Microsoft Excel, that data will be added in this message and will be sent on our Google chat space. After mapping the name, I wanted to add the email address. So we will follow the same process of mapping. Just click here and in the drop down below, select and map the email address. Follow the same process for mobile number as well. Just map the mobile number and also the company details. So in this way, all the data which you have received from Microsoft Excel and Pavli Connect, you can use all of that data in this message section to create the message of your choice. And after creating the message and entering the chat webhook URL, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here is now sent on this chat whose webhook URL we have added. So let's check our Google chat space. And yes, guys, you can see that in our space, MS Excel, the name which we have given to the webhook has sent a message. This message says, hello team, we have received a new lead. And we have the same details of the lead which we have added in Microsoft Excel sheet over here in the new row. Now this means guys, the automation which we were supposed to create in this video is now successfully created. Using this automation, now every time I will add some data in Microsoft Excel in a new row, a message will automatically be sent, shared or sent with the same data in my Google chat space. Now after successfully setting up this automation, let's get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we follow to set up this automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we have selected Microsoft Excel as a trigger application and new row in worksheet as our trigger event. 
After that, we have connected our Microsoft Excel account with Pabli Connect and received the data from our worksheet or work Microsoft Excel workbook in Pabli Connect. Then using Pabli Connect, we have sent that data to Google Chat Hangout so that we can send a message in our Google Chat space using the same data as well automatically. So not just these applications, guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.